G'day friends, I'm Adam and I am a recovering addict. Uh, a little bit about myself, I'm currently 45 years old, about to turn 46. <clears throat> uh, I've been clean from all mood and mind altering substances for just over 21 years. I just had my 21st birthday. Um, I live on the Sunshine Coast. I have an amazing family, a beautiful wife. Uh, two awesome kids, just young kids. My son's six and my daughter's eight. Um, and I just wanted to share from the heart a little bit about myself, my story, and you know how Ron's changed my life, really. Um, you know, I first started using drugs when I was young. <clears throat> I was a really straight kid. I was into sports. And as soon as I started smoking dope, my whole life changed, you know, I was like, something was missing and I thought that was it, you know, and I, I honestly believe I found a connection to something greater um, and I thought I found that in drugs, but that wasn't the truth, it seemed like it at the time, um, you know, anyway, as I started smoking dope, every single thing that was important in my life disappeared <clears throat> and smoking dope became everything, it became all consuming. Um, it became my whole life, you know, and I was great at school. I was doing a lot of different sports and all of those things just got pushed aside and drugs became everything. Um, you know, that was at school. I went to university and, you know, my disease, the disease of addiction that I have progressed. Um, and I found different drugs. I experimented with LSD and, and other drugs. And as soon as I found amphetamines, I was just on a roller coaster ride <laughs> to disaster, really. <laughs> um, you know, and the tragedy of it was, you know, things that were important in my life, like my family, my schooling, all of those things got pushed aside and drugs became everything. Um, you know, and in the meantime, I had no living skills at all. <clears throat> so I basically progressed like that until I was 24 years old. Um, I was dying in every possible way. Um, from my disease, you know, I was physically, spiritually, mentally and emotionally bankrupt in every area. I had nothing, um, you know, and I, you know, it was divine intervention. And I made a decision to, to stop. Um, you know, it wasn't long after that, that I met Ron, um, you know, and it was divine intervention. He completely changed my life. You know, um, as soon as I met him, there was something really special about Ronnie. And if you've met him, you'll know, um, he has an amazing intuition. He's a really cool character, but you know, um, there was something really special. I was attracted to that. And I think it was that he was himself. He was okay with himself and he was confident in being who he was. And I was really drawn to that. <clears throat> and I was looking, I was looking for connection. You know, I think, you know, the disease of addiction is about isolation and separation. You know, it doesn't start off like that, but that's how it ends. Um, you know, and I think recovery is about connection. And I found that when I met Ron, you know, and he just took me under his wing. You know, he was one of those guys that just, he saw how much I needed it. And he was, he took me under his wing and he became like my mentor. And it was more than that. You know, he became my friend. He was like my father and he became my mentor, you know, and he taught me about life. Um, you know, he taught me what it meant to be a man um, and to face up to my responsibilities and to start living with principles in my life. Um, you know, and that was one day at a time and that's what's happened over time, you know, and it was, <clears throat> Ron and I spent a lot of time together, you know, we did some work together, <laughs> some dodgy brothers work together and, um, you know, we did some renov home renovation work and stuff like that together and, you know, he introduced me to Ashtanga yoga and to spiritual things outside and into a whole world of different people and a whole world of connection and that's what I needed, you know. And I think that's the opposite of addiction is connection. And, and that's what I found, you know, and Ron mentored me along the way. And, and while we're hanging out, he introduced me to my wife who I'm with today. Um, and we had two beautiful children together. And, and because of Ron's mentorship and his spiritual guidance and his friendship and, you know, the connection we have, we've had the most awesome life together. And, um, you know, he's helped me be able to create an amazing life for myself as well. Um, you know, and I will be forever grateful for that. And, um, you know, Ronnie's like my best friend, you know, so anyone that watches this, um, 
you know, if you have a problem and you need help, the most powerful thing you can do is to reach out, you know, and that's what I did. And when you reach out, the right person is there at the right time. Um, and I hope for you that that's wrong. Thanks, he's for listening.